complications of fracture vertebrae <clears throat> the most important and the most serious complication is injury of this what is this injury of the spinal cord which pass in the spinal canal just posterior to the body of the vertebra the injury of the spinal cord may be just a concussion like brain concussion like nerve concussion a spontaneous recovery is the rule but the injury of the spinal cord may be contusion or laceration in which there is actual destruction of the structure of the spinal cord and no recovery the spinal cord injury may be complete transection of the spinal cord or hemisection of the spinal cord which is a syndrome called the brown sequard syndrome what is the result of a spinal cord injury according to the level if the injury affecting the atlas or axis atlas is c1 vertebra axis is c2 vertebra if there is unstable displaced fracture of atlas or axis or hangman's fracture what is hangman's fracture fracture of this process of axis which like a tooth therefore this process is called odontoid process in uh, hanging during hanging there is fracture of odontoid process and the fracture of odontoid process will cut the spinal cord very high fracture of atlas or axis or hangman's fracture which is fracture with of the odontoid process with this location of axis all these lead to destruction of the spinal cord very high above the level of innervation of respiratory muscle and this lead to paralysis of all respiratory muscle leading to arrest of respiration and the condition is fatal if there is injury below level of atlas or axis just below atlas or axis above the level of origin of brachial plexus which innervates the upper limb injury just below atlas or axis before innervation of the upper limb leading to quadriplegia injury of thoracic vertebra or L1 vertebra this leading to paralysis of lower limb paraplegia sure we all know that uh, the spinal cord end at the level of the lower border of L1 vertebra below the level of L1 vertebra if there is any fracture this will affect the coda equina leading to coda equina lesion therefore injury below the level of l1 leading to coda equina lesion also uh, beside the injury of spinal cord the fracture may affect this what is this the structure destruction of nerve roots or compression of nerve roots never uh, forget that uh, fracture vertebra or fracture spine is one of the three major fractures in the body 
major fracture in the body are fracture, vertebra, pelvis, and femur. Never forget in the three fractures general complication as before which are mentioned in general rules of fracture. Bit sores, hypostatic pneumonia, DVT, etc., etc., etc. What is the clinical uh, picture of uh, fracture vertebra? The clinical picture of fracture vertebra, first of all, fracture vertebra or fracture spine is suspected in any major trauma. General examination here is very, very important. To detect associated head, chest, abdominal, or limb injuries, which are very common association in major trauma. Also, general examination very very important to detect the complication, like what sure shock in this patient. And in this patient, we said before that the most important complication is spinal cord injury. Therefore, complete general neurological examination for the motor system, sensory system, and all reflexes to detect any spinal cord injury or nerve root injury. Local examination. Local examination, the patient should move as one piece. Roll the patient gently onto the side in one piece and look for the back. There may be deformity, which is angular kyphosis. Kyphosis means flexion deformity of the vertebral column. And angular because there is angulation. Sure, there is tenderness over the effect over the spinous process of the affected vertebra, and palpate the spinous process in the back of the patient. There is two there are two possibilities. The first possibility is no defect or no gap between the spinous process. What does this mean? If you palpate the spinous process, no gap is felt, which means that the vertebrae are in place, and the spinous processes are in place, and this is a stable fracture. But if you palpate the spinous process in the back of the patient, and during palpation, what is this? There is a gap between the spinous processes, and this means unstable fracture. Sure, during local examination, never, never think to examine the movements of the vertebral column because the fracture may be unstable, and any attempt to test the movement, this may lead to injury of the spinal cord. Sure investigations as usual, billing X-ray. Billing X-ray in anthroposterior, lateral and oblique view should be done. And this X-ray in billing X-ray show the wedge compression fracture. Sure, the most sensitive radiological modality to examine and diagnose fracture spine is CT scan. The most important to diagnose fracture vertebrae is CT scan. The most important radiological modality to diagnose complication of fracture vertebrae is this MRI will show the compression of the spinal cord and we all know that in MRI 
the spinal cord and the fat in general or any fatty material will appear white in color while bone appear black in color like this or gray in color while in CT the reverse the bone appear white and the spinal cord appear black therefore the most important investigation for fracture is CT and the most important investigation for spinal cord decompression is MRI what is uh, the treatment uh, before uh, I leave investigation there is uh, important thing uh, to diagnose fractures or dislocation of uh, atlas atlas need a special view by x-ray through open mouse ask the patient to take an open mouse position and x-ray is taken through the open mouse and sure that during the examination of cervical vertebrae the x-ray should show all seven cervical vertebrae and t1 vertebra plus the base of the skull to detect any associated injury above the cervical region or below the cervical region treatment what is the treatment of uh, fracture uh, spine? The most important is first aid. First aid, fracture spine should be suspected in any major trauma. And never try to move the vertebral column by the neck fix the neck and the head the neck is uh, fixed by a collar and fix the head because any movement of head or neck may lead to quadriplegia or even this um, in case uh, of uh, fracture spine the patient should be carried to the stretcher in one piece carried to the stretcher this is a stretcher in one piece never try to lift the patient from the shoulder or from the side because this will lead to flexion of uh, the vertebral column and predispose to spinal cord injury if there is fracture spine. In the hospital, the patient should uh, be nursed on a fracture board. This is a fracture board, hard board to avoid any movement of the bone. Sure, uh, in any major trauma, there are priorities. And the most important priority in this major trauma is ABC, airway, breathing, and circulation. Bleeding should be controlled. Sure, correct any shock and sedatives for pain. Definitive treatment according to a stable fracture or unstable fracture. If there is wedge, Compression fracture. Which compression fracture the aim is to obtain painless, powerful vertebra column. And this wedge shaped vertebra never return again to the normal disc shaped vertebra. Although the vertebra remain wedge in shape, we want this patient to have painless powerful back how first of all rest in bed with extension exercise for one month after one month the patient can allow it up from the bed and continue his physiotherapy and 
extension exercise and they can return to the work when pain completely disappear and return to work within two or three months. In uh, comminuted fracture, in comminuted fracture of cervical region is collar. In cervical region, collar. Or in the suracolumbar region, the best is jacket. Blaster jacket or this, which is called the brass. And this for both, for cervical and thoracic vertebrae, called the brass. Um, in case of avulsion fracture of the transverse or spinous process, this needs no specific treatment, just rest and analgesics. This case is stable. The most important is unstable fracture. If there is unstable fracture, there is neurological manifestation or not. If unstable fracture and there is no neurological manifestation, as you as usual, immediate reduction and the fixation to prevent a spinal cord injury with physiotherapy. In cervical fracture, this is the best. Traction. Traction with skull calibers to fix the skull and traction is applied by a weight. Um, this traction is applied for about six weeks, followed by, as usual, collar for one month with phase use therapy and hyperextension exercise. If this fails, over reduction and the internal fixation may be needed. Um, the value of uh, over reduction and internal fixation in this uh, condition is uh, avoid complication early and allow early mobilization of the patient to avoid complications of prolonged bed rest and recommended by most uh, surgeons. Um, if there is uh, unstable fraction in the suracolumbar region, this is the best. Reduction in jacket. Reduction and fixation in jacket. Blaster jacket in the, for the fracture vertebrae in the suracolumbar region. Blaster jacket for three months followed by physiotherapy and hyperextension exercise. Um, as usual, if closed reduction and external fixation, fixation failed, open reduction and the internal fixation should be done. Finally, if uh, there is unstable fracture with evidence of cord transection and paraplegia. See management of paraplegia in your medicine book, in medical book. Uh, this is a fracture a spine or fracture vertebra. Thank you for good listening and good luck.